So, by the way, uh, I mentioned Pokemon Unite earlier. I'm going to stream it this week. Uh, and part of my stream is going to be telling people not to let their kids play it, as it's a free-to-play MOBA with the Pokemans in it, which seems like that would be, at worst, a gateway to little Jimmy's toxicity. Um, guess what? Pokemon Unite is unironically the most predatory MOBA in terms of monetization. I was about to ask, how's the gacha gamble? It's the worst one by a country mile. Wow. Because it's the only one that lets you roll, pay to roll on loot boxes that give you in-match advantages on your next match. What do you mean by in-match advantages? More health, more power. Oh, like buffs, straight up. Like straight buffs. Roll the dice. You can maybe win your next match. It's actually pay to win. I was watching Charlie stream it the other day, and the name of his stream was called Pay to Win. Okay, so there's no game here, then. There is, and apparently it's pretty good. But that it doesn't matter. If what you just said is 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 what you said it is, then it doesn't matter. There's no game here. We got a quote from somebody named Chaos Joey in the chat. Maxing out a stat giving item costs $40. And these items are permanent stat buffs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is, that's, no, there's no game here. That's a joke. That makes, like, yeah. what's, why even bother, go, like, no, uh, that's, okay. That is a disqualifier from entry for me. If it's literally by the way, like that's crazy. By life, <laughs> that's nuts. Okay, well, that's the absolute. Is not that uh, the wildest thing? So I'm gonna stream it, and uh, you know I'll probably put it. Yeah, you know, the original plan was to stream that uh, for a whole stream. I'm probably gonna stream it for like two hours and then switch over to Wild Rift on uh, an emulator or something like that. Can you um, get, can you unlock with these things free? I assume the answer is eventually. Can you play for free and store up a bunch and then buy these things? Eventually. I think somebody actually just broke out the phrase $120 for a 3% movement buff. <laughs> in the chat. Oh, people are uh, talking about Charlie's stream. He played for eight hours and only man. upgraded one item two levels. But does it so have it's, all... It's the, it, it's the question between $40 and dozens and dozens of hours. But does it have all the Pokemon? No. Well... Fuck no. <laughs> Also, also, on top of that, pay like eight bucks for a Gengar. Well... Also buy Pokemon. I might actually change that out of my schedule, come to think of it. That game's dirty. That game's dirty, dude. That It didn't need to be. It, it, yeah? You want to bet how much big monies they've made? Oh, for sure. And they would have because it's the name is there. But holy shit, man. Mask it somehow. Put the veil on. Pretend there's Ma a competitive angle to this. With, mask it with Pokemans. How about Pre that? Pretend there's a game to be played here. That sounds really bad. It does sound really bad, doesn't it? Do you think it's because it's really bad? I mean, it sounds like if you can if you can play and get it for free, then I guess the idea it's almost like you're buying experience is kind of what it sounds like. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's it's what the it works. Battlefield out. equivalent of give us two hundred dollars to unlock every gun. Mm. Just purchase, yeah, I purchasing. Don't, I don't purchasing know if you experience. remember that. Uh, I I remember hearing about um uh not was that no, what was the first game with battle passes? First, I believe it was Fortnite. Was it Fortnite? Okay. I believe it was. I, 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 I'm, I'm 
I don't know enough to know, but I remember there being like a really, really like angry moment of like this thing costs money, but like it's a ripoff and there's a whole lot of but I don't know. I mean don't some remember. battle passes are like I, the Fortnite battle passes are tend to be quite good. The Rune Terra one that just came out that I did was also pretty good for its cost. Uh, the Apex one, I don't know if you remember that, but that was a joke. That was like hilarious. I do. Like, you, hey, pay twenty dollars and you can get some skins where we threw mud on some of the characters. It was <laughs> unbelievable. Um, cool. Well, since we like moved over uh, through Teppen with a baton pass there, uh, yeah. Um, over on my stream this week, uh, like I said, possibly going to finish off Disco Elysium. Um, going to. Uh, I'm going to see if I have time for um, a special stream, but things are getting pretty busy, so it's a bit rough. But yeah, that's coming up, uh, as well as getting to fighting games. And um, I also did a couple of like just really long strive sets that are going to be on the channel. So I did a uh, oh, celestial. That's nice. Yeah, I just I was hitting the celestial tower for a bit and then um, playing with some people that we're watching and then me and Reggie did like some really long sets too so uh, for those of you who have been tuning in recently that uh, I've seen some pretty good feedback from people that are like hey it's nice to see like regular check-ins on a game and see the improvement over time um, yeah if you're enjoying that there's some strive sets coming to the channel that are just like a couple hours grinding away at it trying to figure out labbing matchups learning etc so you're watching the, the the discovery process essentially as as a uh, as I, I, I try to get better at a game so you can see what that is like and, you know, hopefully have your own journey and enjoy that over on uh, uh, Blue Versus. You can check out my crap on twitch.tv slash at. We're going to be finishing off the Mass Effect 2 DLC this week and maybe playing Pokemon Unite and Great Ace Attorney. Though there is one more thing I'd just like to mention before we get off my week. Uh, watch Mau Mau, the cartoon. Mau Mau, I want to say it's called Heroes of Pure Heart, which I thought was going to be a lot more saccharine than it was. That's a great little adventure show. It's fantastic. It's absolutely hilarious. I would put it uh, not quite adjacent to Adventure Time in its absurdity. It's a lot more structured. But uh, it's How do just you a spell fun little M A O M A O. Mau Mau. Okay. Not like M A. Meow Meow. Not as in the huge black Kenyan uprising <laughs> from the 1950s. No, I'm no, I'm talking okay. about the the black cat hero character from the cartoon show. Okay, because the Mau Mau's is a, is a big big African. Yeah, thing. I know the the long and short of it. Uh, <laughs> All right, do, fair enough. Do cartoon <clears throat> hero type get stuck defending what is essentially a fucking country of Care Bears? In that the Care Bears are all disgusting freaks. And they're kind of horrible. And I hate them. It's good. It's very okay. good. Okay. Okay, but why the Wooly? I don't know. I, I, like, fucking, it's what comes to mind. Most deaf references in a bunch. It's a thing. You hear about it in hip-hop sometimes. And then it's also prehistoric. I don't know what the fuck that... It's this... Anyways. Um, cool. All right. Well, anyway. M A U M A U is is what I what 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 I was referring to there. Oh, okay. We can Don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I, 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 I zero I, idea. That's okay. That's okay. It's a thing that happened. It's all right. Like the chairman from China. Okay. 